Hi, and welcome to another Keyshot Quick Tip. Fading an entire object in and out is easy to set up using the Fade Part animation from the Animation Wizard configuration. But what about doing something a little more visually interesting, like fading a part from one side to the other? Here's how to do it using a color gradient texture and a number fade animation. Instead of fading specific parts, like the regular fade animation, this technique will fade a specific material applied to one or several parts. Right-click the material you want to fade and select Edit Material Graph. Right-click an empty space in the material graph, select Textures and select the color gradient. Select the newly created color gradient node and hit C on the keyboard to view the color information coming out of it. We will use this texture to drive the opacity of the material. What is black will be transparent and what is white will be fully opaque. Hit Move Texture in the Texture Properties, adjust the direction of the gradient to match the wanted direction of the fade, use the Translate Handles to roughly center the texture if needed and hit Done. In this example, I want the material to fade out and then in again. To do so, I add in two extra color stops by hitting the Add Color Stop button and adjust the position and colors to fade from white to black, hold black for a while and then fade from black to white. Adjust the scale value and position if needed. Connect the color gradient texture node to the opacity input on the material node and hit C on the keyboard to exit the color preview. With this setup, we can now animate the movement of the gradient texture along the material by adding a number fade animation node to the shift value of the gradient texture. Right click an empty space in the graph, go to animation and select number fade. Drag a connection from the number fade output to the color gradient texture node, let go and select shift. Open up the animation timeline by hitting A on the keyboard or select the animation button in the toolbar to see the block representing the shift animation. Make sure that frame one is shown Go to the material graph, preview the color of the color gradient texture, double click the number fade node and adjust the from value until the material is completely white. Jump to the last frame by hitting the end frame button in the animation timeline, go to the graph and adjust the to value until the material is fully white again. Hit the play button in the animation timeline to see the animated color gradient texture. Adjust if needed. Hit C on the keyboard to view the final result. In the animation timeline, click and hold the right side of the material group and drag it to the right to adjust the length and speed of the animation. Thanks for watching this Keyshot quick tip. For more Keisha learning content, click on one of the playlists below. To make sure that you don't miss out on any new content, subscribe to our channel by clicking the Keisha icon in the center of the screen.